This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers So we have a couple of stories that we want to take a look at in today's video But first things first guys We have actually hit 4k subscribers Yeah man the channel is doing a little thing you know and it is solely because of the support that I'm getting from you guys. You know, the ones that continuously watch the videos, share the videos. And, you know, the ones that continuously send me your positive feedback to continue doing this. So, I really appreciate it guys. And as the movement continue to build and continue to grow, I want you all to know that I really appreciate the support. Zin. Alright guys, so let's just get straight into the video. Uh, so we see where a couple of Sri Lanka players, you know, were actually banned for a year from international cricket. We'll give you guys the details um, about all of that, you know, because that story is basically making the rounds on the internet. But before we, we, we really go into that, I want to say that Guyana, Guyana, the weather over there in, in Guyana is not treating us good at all, my viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man. And for those who were up and waiting for the second T20, you will know exactly why I said that. So, Pollard, you know, he won the toss and decided that he was going to have a bat. And, you know, we were, we were hardly able to get anything in. As a matter of fact, the Pakistan bowlers were only able to bowl 1.2 overs before the rain came, uh, came calling. You understand? And, you know, it is only a pity, my viewers and subscribers, because Fletcher, you know, he actually started off pretty well. He had hammered a couple of sixes and was looking as if he was going to play an attacking innings. You know, Chris Gale was there with him. Yeah, man, my viewers, the fact that uh, Evan Lewis is out injured, Gale is the man that was actually sent to open the innings with uh, Fletcher. And Gale was on, on one. So the score was actually 15 for 1. And, you know, that is where the rain came down. And my viewers, you know, I was actually feeling good about today's game, you know. Um, even though even though we, we, we went into bat first and, and the, 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 the place was overcast and all of that, I was feeling like we were going to get some runs um, to them. And I, I was feeling it, you know. You know, you know when you just have that gut feeling, you know. But all we can say is that hopefully Tuesday's game, will go ahead without any rain interruption. You know, want to see the guys bounce back. We don't want them to just finish off this tour without having having played a, a, a good full 20 over. You understand? We, we definitely want some good weather on Tuesday so the guys can go out there and showcase, um, you know, their skills and things. But, uh, yeah, man, we were actually 15 without loss, as I said, of 1.2 overs. Fletcher had smashed a couple of sixes of, you know, Hafiz is the man that got him out in the in the um in the fur in the first in the first game there of the second delivery. Well that didn't happen because the second delivery actually smashed Hafiz for a huge six. It's just a pity, as I said, guys, that you didn't get a chance to, to really continue. You understand? But the team was basically basically the same, you know. It's just that Russell and Jerry Russell came in for 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 um for for Evan Lewis. So for all those who were saying that you know Russell 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 was injured, and that is why Shepherd um Ramar Shepherd came in for for him. Well, <laughs> it's sort of weird how how as Evan Lewis got injured, um Russell was was able to just slot back in easily, eh? I don't want a man believe say I am fighting Shepherd and saying that you know even though he's at his is 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 home they shouldn't give him a game. It's just that I I was a bit I was a bit concerned that they they found it fit to to drop Russell for Shepherd um out of the blues. But you know it is what it is. They are the selectors and they are the coaches and the captain and all of that. I'm just a little YouTuber, you know. Just that 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 is just your talking. So um that that was the only change. Russell Russell coming in for for Lewis. I think that was the only change, but you know we'll see how things will go for Tuesday. We're not sure if Evan Lewis will will return by then, 
But um, whatever the case is, we definitely want to go out and, and see how best we can win that game. So that is basically it where this, this part is concerned. My viewers and subscribers didn't have any game. So we are, I, I don't have any information to really give you. All right. So let us let us zoom in on what really what really is, is going on in that Sri Lanka camp. Now because, you know, I, I am thinking that a couple of persons would be aware about the situation by now where those three players were banned so we're talking about Gunatelica, Mendes and Dequela yeah man they were all slapped with a one-year ban um, from international cricket and you know this is as a result of the, the the breaking of protocol by leaving the biosecure bubble while on tour of England so we remember when that when the news came that these guys would have you know, um, they would have left the biosecure bubble and went out. You know, um, <laughs> you know, people were, were wondering what what exactly was going to happen, seeing that they they, they were under strict guidelines not to leave the bubble. Well, <laughs> you, 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 as you can hear, guys, they got the, the one year ban. I, I I I personally don't know don't know if it is if it is too strong of a ban. You understand, but um, it's not even finished as yet because alongside the one year um, from international cricket, each will also have to serve a six month ban from domestic cricket. You understand, and you know the much anticipated ruling came on Friday. So even though the the, the, the situation took place a, a while now, the ruling came on Friday of last week, and um, another thing that they will have to do is that they will have to play ten pay ten million. Sri Lanka rupees, you know, each and will also have to undergo mandatory counseling. So, yeah, man, it's a it's a whole lot of, of, of things that they will have to they will have to um go through. Because we're talking about um you know we talk we're not talking about cricketers that you know were making their debut. Gunatelika has been playing for a while. Same thing with Mendes and Dequela. These are guys that you know they should be they should be looking to lead from the front. You understand, but um, for some reason they thought it would have been a good idea to to break to breach protocol. And the funny thing about it, when some of these guys are breaching protocol, my viewers, they are not breaching it to go on and, and do anything that is really of any importance. A lot of them breaching protocol basically to go on and, and have what they would call so-called fun. You understand? So, you know, it's it's a it's a bit it's a it's a sticky situation for them. You understand, but it is what it is. And as I said, guys, I, I am going to leave this one for you all to tell me whether or not you think um, the punishment is too harsh. You know, one year away from international cricket, six months um, from domestic cricket and 10 million rupees. I'm not really sure how the currency work over there. You understand, you know, but whatever, whatever, whatever way they will have to come up with that, then... Um, they will have to do that and i guess the, the mandatory counseling is just to rub salt in the wound to show them that you know you apparently are not thinking logically because of the situation and you got an opportunity to play cricket yet still you thought it would have been a good idea to do something like this so yeah man my viewers and subscribers that is basically how the cookie crumbled there as it regards to those three players that would have um you know would have breached the protocol that was set up and Sri Lanka Cricketing Association, boy, they really came down with the hammer. They really came down. I, I, I think I heard that they were looking to give them two-year ban instead, but, you know, it, it, so boil, it boiled down to one year. Boy, they really swing the hammer on them. As I said, I'm going to leave you guys to be the judge of that one. So, you know, let, let us finish up the video with some with some track and field now, guys. You know that even though we cover, cover a couple of crickets to where the Olympic is going on, so we're not forgiving us some of that, man. So, I mean, after sweeping the 100 meter finals for women, things haven't really gone, you know, as, as, as how we would have wanted because we saw where our 100 meter um, for men, Blake and Oblique Seville, they both were unable to, um, to reach the 100 meter finals. As a matter of fact, um, the 100 meter finals was won by, by, by a, <laughs> an athlete from, um, from Italy. Yeah, man, running um, 9.86 was a bit surprising. You know, so he 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 would have done his his you know his his country proud, and um we also had some hiccups in the four hundred meter hurdles. 
you know, um, Jail Hyde and, and, and did manage to go through. Same thing with the 400 meter flat, Nathan Allen, Demish Gay and Christopher Taylor, they all failed to, to go through. So i um, really having a tough time over there, guys. I uh, want to say a special shout out to Tajay Gale though, our long jumper, who is basically jumping on one leg. You know, not a lot of um, persons are, are covering this and, and letting the people know that he is basically performing injured. So we want to shout out to him and we want him to, you know, he's now in the finals. So we are hoping that he will be able to, to put together a couple of jumps and will be able to make it into the medal tally. But if he is not even able, able to get a medal, guys, we are indeed proud of him that he was able to, to, to represent. And we are proud of all the athletes that are over there. You understand? But we're going to leave this one right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. And as per usual, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. And also remember that my Patreon is now up. And, you know, the link will be posted in the description below. So if you want to go ahead and, you know, show your love to the, to the, to the thing, you can just click the link in the description below. And it will take you right there for you to do what is necessary. Sports to the bone. I'm out. Big up on yourself.